Hello, my name is Michael and I want to talk about our project uh, about sports and we chose to have about ice hockey. Ice hockey is a sport that you play on ice and each team consists of six players including the goalkeeper and the purpose is to hit the puck which is the ball you use in ice hockey with your stick into the enemy's goal and uh, yeah you play on artificial ice rings. Here you see a picture of an ice hockey field with the different positions uh, on each team. And first of all, you see the goalkeeper on each side. And secondly, we have the defenseman, which is the left and the right one. And we also have the winger player who helps the center player. And at the start of the game, the two center players are going to get the puck, which is dropped by the judge. So it was originally from Canada and was played in the 19th century. And back then you didn't have artificial ice rings to play on frozen lakes and you didn't really have goals so you just uh, hit the puck with your stick and you know played around and it was kind of dangerous but they managed to do it. Here you can see a picture of how it would look like back then when you played ice hockey and you can see people are having fun ice skating around hitting the puck with the sticks and it looks kind of fun actually but also very dangerous as you can see that someone just fell into the frozen lake and some other guy is sitting on the ice and holding to his head. Ouch, that must hurt. The first organized ice hockey game was played in 1875 in Canada and Montreal. Now I want to tell you a little about the physics of ice hockey. The gyroscopic effect is when the puck is spinning around itself just like the earth and this makes it more accurate and stable. When the ice hockey puck gets hit, it follows a linear motion. The gravity! The gravitation force presses the puck downward, which makes it follow a curved motion instead of a linear. This is how a basic slap shot would look like in ice hockey. The ice hockey puck trails to the highest point on the parabola and then gaining speed as it falls down again on the ice. Now I want to talk about the biotechnological aspect of ice hockey. EPO is a drug that many sportsmen use to perform better. In many sports, people take EPO to increase their durability and strength. EPO is a hormone that increases your production of red blood cells, especially in your kidney. The more red blood cells you have, the more oxygen you can absorb and the faster your heart will thump. EPO gets artificially produced and was mainly for people who had kidney problems. Nowadays, many sportsmen abuse EPO as a drug to increase their performance. I hope you enjoyed our video about ice hockey and see ya!